Today we'll be talking about photography and what it takes to have good photos. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. This is the My Amazon Guy podcast. All right, so now I'm joined by Jeff Delacruz, who's the president of Pow Photography or Products on White Photography. I've thanks for thanks for joining me, Jeff. I appreciate it. I'm happy to be here. So I've personally used their service and absolutely recommend them to my clients. And some of my clients have also used their service. And I think they're a go-to place of professional photography. But uh, just to start us off on our podcast today to qualify you as an expert in the space, can you walk us through um, why you guys are the go-to place? Why, why you think you guys are doing it right, <laughs> so to speak? Sure. Um, so Products on White Photography, we specialize in just white background uh, product photos for e-commerce, Amazon uh, sellers. That's our specialty. That's what we do nine to five, Monday through Friday, um, seven days a week. Um, right now we got um, seven full-time photographers shooting this stuff every day. Um, and one of the things that really makes us special besides the fact that we've photographed hundreds of products for thousands of sellers um, is that we really focus on quality. So uh, I think of a lot of sellers out there, I'm sorry, a lot of photographers out there will just stick it in a light tent or just use cookie cutter lighting. We're not doing that. One thing that we're doing that's really special is we're actually lighting these products in a very special way. So if you imagine we have these big sets, we set your product on there. Um, we look at your match directions and we can copy it. Exactly. We can say, oh, we want to highlight here. Oh, we want to uh, add a little bit of fill on this side or add a hard shadow. Um, each product is being lit specially and then retouched. Uh, we do a lot of compositing uh, to really make it look beautiful. And if you're just putting this, if you're putting your product in a light tent and taking a shot, there's no way you could make it look this good. So I, um, that's really what we do best. I, I completely agree with you. And the reason I know this is because I tried to shoot some photos of my wine glasses and they looked like trash. And so then I sent one <laughs> to you guys and it looked way better. I also sent one of my glasses into Amazon's photo service and mm. yours beat <laughs> theirs as well. So, um, so yeah, definitely would prop you up as an expert in the space here. Um, how did you come up with the name of, of, of your company? <laughs> well, you know, it's products on white backgrounds. Uh, we wanted to keep it pretty, uh, pretty simple. So products on white. Um, and then we were like, oh, this is kind of cool. We could call it POW. So we call it POW for short when we're talking to people. You know, we answer the phone, pow, how can I help you? You know, nice. it's uh <laughs> pow, how can I help you? There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. So uh so yeah, so I don't know. It's uh it just wanted to make it simple. And and so right now is you know, the economy is going through this crazy revolution. Um mm -hmm. and as I understand it, you started your company in the middle of the last economic fallout back in two thousand ten. Yeah. Walk walk me through that. Yeah, so um, first of all, I've been a photographer for a really long time at this point. Um, you know, so I remember what it was like to be a photographer before before the 2008 meltdown. And um, so it was me and my business partner in 2008. Um, basically, we just lost all our business as freelancers, uh, shooting custom stuff, lifestyle stuff. Um, and But one thing that kept coming in was these just white background photos. And people just wanted like one or two shots of their product. But as a professional, we would bill it as a day rate. We would say, oh, you want a full day of shooting? That would be, you know, five, $500 to $1,000 a day or something like that. And that was just ridiculous if you just wanted one product photo on a white background. So we're like, there's gotta be a way we can help all these sellers, right? And so that's how we created our system where uh, we flat rate it per photo, uh, where you can send, send it in, uh, order online, send us your products. But what it was, but the genesis of that, what we came to realize is that, um, is that this was the kind of the beginning of the Amazon gold rush. And this was, these were sellers that had been laid off of their job. They had kind of maybe lost faith in having job security. And they were like, they wanted to take their, um, their, uh, their life into their own hands, right? And this was a way that they could do it. They could say, I could, I could get my own products uh, from China and resell them on Amazon, or I could create a brand and sell it on Amazon. And it was, it was super easy back then. It's a little bit harder now, I think. 
Um, it's but why, it's why we're in business. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why you're around here. Um, <laughs> but back then it was so much easier, and I think um, it was a real opportunity for people to kind of um, take control of their lives. And I think we're probably going to see that again, maybe differently now. I think it's going to be more established businesses that have kind of resisted the e-commerce push that are saying, "Oh, now I yeah, have no choice." Now I have no choice. Yeah, we have a couple of clients like, like that right now. They're who like are this like, mad dash. Okay, yeah, we're yeah. going to shoot a thousand photos. We need we need this by Friday. Come on, Jeff. Get exactly. It exactly. I'm sure that's coming in. Um, yeah. It, it's definitely definitely chaotic right now. So, um, so let's get into the heart of our conversation today. Photography mm-hmm. is an art that is hard to get right. And yeah. you're an expert. You can speak to both the art and the science behind photography. So, mm-hmm. so this question would not surprise me if it took us the majority of our podcast to get through today, right. but, but what makes a good photo? Oh man, that's such a, uh, it's, <laughs> See, it's, I know it's, it's a, a tough it's a, one. Let's, it's a cultural, uh, kind of like, you know, uh, dark hole there. Cause you could really go into like, what, what do we like? You know, what, what is pleasing to us? What do we need? You know, um, maybe we can just kind of compartmentalize this to just, um, like, what what is going to encourage people on Amazon to click my listing photo, right? Because when I think about it, when I think about Amazon, that main listing image is the most important image in getting somebody to click. And um, and if somebody does a search for like like um, like lip balm, a bunch of it lip balms are going to show up. One of them is going to be your image, and the rest of them are going to be your hundreds of other competitors. Right, and making optimizing that image, um, making that image look good is the real question. I think that we need to kind of focus on. I think. Yeah, yeah. So, I, so I agree with you, I, and I teed that question up knowing it was impossible to answer. Right, but like, <laughs> so we're gonna try and we're gonna try and uh, tackle that question and compartmentalize it a little bit. So, uh, cl- clearly, a lot of people know at this stage that they need their main photo on white, you know, a mm-hmm. la Powell photography, pictures on white photography. And, and so, but there's a lot of elements that go into it. So like walk me through why your studio shot is superior to that light kit t- tent, if you will. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think first of all, you know, you, you gotta get beyond the idea that you just gotta meet the requirements. The Amazon image requirements for that main list image is just a product on a white background. That's like the bare minimum, right? And anybody can really do that. Um, you know, you could just put up, a piece of white paper and take a photo of your product and you've done it, right? But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about how do I win that click? How do I have my photo stand out? And really it's all about how you light the product. How do you make it different? How do you make it look better? Um, you know, uh, and I think that's, that, that's what that means is different to every product. So for example, like we can shoot a bottle um, you're talking about like a wine, a wine bottle before. Yeah. So wine glass, I've got, uh, nope, I don't have a wine one glass. To me. <laughs> well, maybe I do. So a wine glass is very difficult to shoot photography wise because of the lighting, because of the refraction of the glass it makes it really, really difficult. So we pack these really well. That's why it took me so long. You can hear that crackling in the background if you're just listening in. So it's like a transparent glass with some type on the front, very difficult product to, and, to photograph. And as I put this on the webcam, for those that are watching the video, you can see the refraction of the wine glass as I rotate it around. Very difficult to actually read what's on the glass. And so mm-hmm. when I was trying to get this wine glass shot, we would throw um, liquids into it. We would try and take it without a liquid shot and play around with it. And, and it's not easy, <laughs> not mm-hmm. easy at all. Yeah, and I and I think like a lot of people find us um, when they're struggling to kind of take these type of product photos because you're just you're just not going to be able to make that look good on your own, not unless you have all the right gear and know how to use it. And, and that's probably the probably the biggest piece of advice I give my listeners is don't even try to take the photos yourself. I would just hire the professional from the start. The the <laughs> cost and the time investment I made personally when I was trying to figure this stuff out is well dwarfed by the, 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 the ease and use of your product service. And, and so you cannot just hire a photographer off the street or a freelancer local to you. Shooting for e-commerce is a completely different game. So, mm-hmm. so walk me through some of the things that you've learned over the years that, you know, 
can when you take a photo like mistakes that are commonly made maybe mm -hmm. sure so um you know, I'm going to focus on that wine glass and tell you how I would photograph it. So, sure. and I guess, I guess this is just indicative of me being uh, a product photographer who's shot hundreds of products on white backgrounds, you know? Um, and just like the rest of our staff, we can just look at a product and know exactly how to photograph it before we even put it on set. Um, so how I would photograph that wine glass is I would bring it on set. I would set the background and light the background separately. Um, I know a, a specific color number that I want it to be which is around 250, um, which is which is like a, a white, but not 100% white. So there's a little bit of density behind it. And that density is gonna go into the glass itself. Now, the problem is, is if you just put it in there and light it evenly, then everything's gonna disappear. So we're gonna need to use some black cards on the sides to kind of create some shape. If you go black, it'll go completely black on the sides. And that glass is going to actually reflect it. So you're actually dealing with the reflection of of the of the the black cards as opposed to the actual lighting of it. I don't know if that makes sense. It, it makes perfect sense to me because I've been through this motion before, but I know it's pretty nerdy uh, for those that are listening who have never picked up a camera before. It's it's that light. You know, some of the keywords you mentioned: light density, refraction, or reflection of the black cards mm -hmm. and stuff. I mean, it, it's complex to get right. Like, mm -hmm. I totally get it. Um, so when you, w w so what do you think is some of those mistakes that could be made? Like not putting black cards, choosing the wrong light density number. Or, <laughs> like what, what, what do people Well, that's the thing is like, if you're trying to do this yourself, you wouldn't even get to this point of, of right. questioning, you you're know, totally like, right. you know, like, like you're, you're, if you're doing it yourself, your basic problems are how do I get a white sweep? And how do I get light coming in? So like um, I, I've taught classes on, on DIY product photography. And um, you know the biggest mistake is first of all, trying to do it like a professional. Like you're just not gonna be able to do it because in a multi-light setup, you need to have an understanding of what I like to call photography math. I was a professor for a while. I taught some photography. And, um, and one of the things we would teach is how to balance lights, right? So if we have a key light overhead, just lighting the entire glass, which is providing the even light, we'd wanna set that at, let's, let's just say we wanna set that at one one hundredth of a second at F16 and an ISO of 100, right? Then we wanna add the, the, the uh, some highlights down the side, which we wanna do it like minus one. And we could do that with soft boxes or some sort of reflective panel, right? And then we would light that separately. Um, I can keep going, but I think you kind of get the, under, the, the the point is that if you want to get to this professional level, you need to first understand the photography math and then understand how to set up the basic tools. Um, so I, I think you kind of get where I'm going here. I, I like that. So so we we've, we said we mentioned earlier on that there's both an art and a science to photography. The last bit was very focused on that science. And, and you even yes. mentioned photo math. I don't mm -hmm. think most people would have thought about that when they're thinking of photography. And that's really interesting to kind of uh, say out loud. You know, if I'm a customer shopping on Amazon, I personally would not know how complicated it is to sell on Amazon. And it's a super complicated process, right? So right, right. I'll, I'll bring a college kid who just graduated um, out of college and train him and, and, and bring him a member of, of the My Amazon Guy team. And usually there's two reoccurring comments I'll get. The first is they're, they're surprised at the amount of navigation that they have to do to get a product mm -hmm. to sell on Amazon. I would second that that's probably applicable to photography. And Definitely. the second point that they usually make is, man, I had no idea how much stuff goes into this or how complicated it is. So photography very much could be the same boat as well. Um, so as a buyer, when I'm looking at the product listing search page on Amazon and I, and I see these hundreds of commoditized products, um, out there, you know, why, why would, why would the customer click on this photo versus another's is a debatable conversation. So, sure. so let, let's, let's, so we talked about basic starting point. We talked a little bit about a couple of common photo mistakes and, and how amateurs can't be professionals. And we get that. What, is there any tips that you would suggest that, let's say somebody was going to hire Pal Photography, what, what kind of shots do you think they need to obtain from you to be successful on Amazon? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, when working with us, you know, really the best thing to do is just first survey the, the competition. Just see what everybody else is doing with their photos, right? There's going to be one or two that are just knocking it out of the park. And if you can't find any, you can search other product categories with similar, similar shaped products. What you're looking for are photos that just like really stand out to you. And then if you're working with us, all you got to do is just take a screenshot and say, make it look like this. That's literally all you got to do, yeah. right? Point, I want this. And then uh, send us that image in the, in, the, uh, in the shot list. And then you can also say, oh, I want it to look like this, but I want the angle, I want the, I want the box next to the product instead, you know, of this, of this arrangement. So we have arrangements and we have uh, lighting match images that you can, you can provide to us. One of the things I really like about your website is it has a bunch of tutorials on how to go about the ordering process because it is hard to connect um, the purchaser of said photos, i.e. an mm -hmm. Amazon seller, to the photographer and outlining the desired outcome, right? And mm -hmm. so you have tutorials on like how to um, show you those lookalike photos like you mentioned, show the competition. You also mm -hmm. have... Um, uh, you know, if, if you want shots taken, shoot them with your cell phone and give us those examples and we'll replicate them. I thought that's a very yep. visual, easy way to transfer the request. And I, mm -hmm. and I got to say, I give you props for how your website's built to handle those orders. Thanks. Yeah, you know, and the whole thing is like, we know that that our buyers are not, our customers are not photographers, you know? And very rarely do we work with somebody who's able to art direct us at a, at like, a really complex level, you know, it's, it's very uncommon. So we have to, we have to be able to have a, a way of communication between a non photographer and a photographer. And that way is visual, right? Just writing it out. Like that's that going to help us, you know, but taking cell phone shots is something everybody can do. And, and I, th I think that's a great way to do it. So uh, props to you on in, in boarding that into uh, your website ordering system. Um, okay, so so if you uh, had um, had the floor right now and you just wanted to tell Amazon sellers out there a piece of advice, what what would you tell them? You know, there's there's really a kind of a progression I think that every seller needs to go through. Um, I I believe that every seller just needs to get to market as fast as possible. Just get your listing up there, get your stuff out there, and I realize that um, you know that might mean just taking your own cell phone photos. And if you're gonna do that, like there's lots of tutorials out there. We have one with Shopify on how to use window light to shoot it yourself. And it's just a great way to just kind of get up there. But once you're up there, it's time to start optimizing. Just like you're gonna optimize your ads, just like you're gonna optimize your copy, um, you know, optimize your photos because that's the kind of the next stage to kind of level up. And you're never gonna level up with just these DIY photos. But I do think you should get to market. So I, I, I really like that comment because um, we're very action oriented as an agency. Um, there's a lot of agencies that are perception based and we're like the opposite of that. Like we don't have a photo of me shaking hands with Jeff Bezos on my website. You can't find <laughs> that. Um, we're not networking. We barely leave the house because we're so busy. Kind of like what you mentioned. You guys are shooting photos all the time. Yeah. Um, um, but uh, getting to market and doing whatever you can to growth hack to get up and running. I couldn't, couldn't agree more with you on that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so so here's some random questions. What What's the hardest product you've ever shot and why? Oh man, uh, we had this set of, uh, of whiskey um, glasses and it had a decanter in it. And just like the glass you were showing me, it had this white text on it. And you know, that first of all, we had to get the glass and then we had to go in there and extract all the text and so that meant selecting it all and uh and just doing it in post it, it was a lot of work you know so stuff like that is extremely difficult but i mean i mean we probably sh shot over two hundred thousand different product photos over the last 10 years and that's only the like, one of them you know so to totally get it all right on the other side of the spectrum what's what's an easy product you can shoot all day long <laughs> yeah, we love shooting bottles, you know, uh, send us your bottles. But I would say like one of the things that we do really, really good is beauty products um, because we're able to get really custom with the lighting and our, uh, our photographers love it because uh, beauty sellers tend to be focused on, you know, beauty imagery, 
Uh, there's a lot of really great um, brands out there that really set the bar really high with their photography. And so um, people that are new to the beauty category will often reference um, some of these high-end brands and and have us match that. We just we just love doing that kind of stuff. So we, we have a lot of beauty clients. Um, it's very high demand on Amazon. I had one referral tree um, where my first beauty client recommended like three others, and then those three recommended three others. So so like we have a lot of beauty clients. Wow. Yeah. All right. So um, I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, okay. So uh, you you probably have an opinion on. Like there's probably a service that you you offer that you think people should take more advantage of, or maybe like mm -hmm. a photo that customers aren't asking for that you think would just be awesome and make their sales go through the roof. What, what, what do you think people are missing right now? So um, the biggest question that we get is, do you guys shoot lifestyle photos? And you know, I think the anatomy of an Amazon listing is really your main listing image, your secondary images that are kind of benefit focused or, or feature focused, and then these, these lifestyle images. And for a long time, we weren't able to offer that because shooting lifestyle stuff is really challenging, right? To do a lifestyle shoot for real, kind of like what I was doing as a freelancer before I started PAL, is a huge production. It costs thousands of dollars. Like we're talking like $2,000 just to get into it. And the reason why is because, first of all, you have to have a model. That model needs to wear clothes and have their makeup all, all done. Then you need an environment to shoot it in. And then you gotta, you gotta feed all the people that are there and you gotta do the shoot. And then you gotta do all the post-processing and you can really only get like 10 looks done a day if you're really working hard and it's just really expensive. And if you're an Amazon seller, that's just an absurd amount of money to spend for a secondary listing image. So based on that, um, we started a service uh, pretty recently, maybe about six months ago, uh, that we we're just really going to market with right now called Amazon uh, Lifestyle Composite Photos. It's kind of a long name. You just call it, we call it stock, stock Composites is another short name for it. But it's really cool because what we do is we, we start with a stock photo. So if you go to iStock Photo, there's all these images that have been pre-created with professional models and professional scenes and a professional environment. So imagine like, uh, a professional model photographed in a kitchen, right? And she's just leaning up uh, against the counter. And imagine your product is a blender bottle, right? Now, instead of actually going out and photographing this blender bottle in that scene, we can actually look at the way the, the stock photo was created, the lighting and stuff, and then we'll photograph the blender bottle and light it in the same way so that it matches that stock, that stock scene. And then our retouches will retouch it into the scene so that it looks perfect. And we're really good at this. And uh, it's only 150 bucks per photo. And it's a great way uh, to create these lifestyle photos um, at a really high, high end professional level. I, I've got a client that I'm thinking of would be a good fit for this. Uh, they have uh, lights and like flush mm -hmm. mounts and stuff like that. They would be a great candidate. I'm gonna have, I'm writing that down right now to make sure I go refer that one uh, for composite shots. So that's really good. Yeah, we can definitely do stuff like that. Lights on a wall, like you start with a room scene um, or um, or hanging lights, we can do stuff like that. Um, you know, getting those those scenes looking looking really good, um, those lifestyle photos. Uh, I, I don't know, I, I'm really excited about this this uh, this new service we're offering, so. All right, a couple more questions for you. So Jeff, yep. what, what's the, what was the funnest product you ever had to shoot? Oh man. Um, so it's like so many, I have to like go down the list of, you can spout, um, spout off a couple. That's fine. And then pick one you want to talk about maybe. So we did, we did this huge project with a uh, Chloron, which is this beauty product uh, brand. Who's really big out in, uh, in, uh, in Europe and they have a U.S. presence. They're not as big out here, but they're a huge brand and they just got really creative with us. Um, I love it when brands get creative with us and they provide really good direction as, as to how to do it. And, um, and they wanted to do this like hard light look where this hard light shadow was going across their product. It was kind of like an overhead kind of thing. Um, and it really kind of uh, redefined, it created a whole new lighting style for us. And we, we, we actually offer um, uh, a background service called hard light because of them. Um, and it was just super fun to shoot. And uh, we had a really great time just kind of working around their specs and stuff. So, um, you know, brands, if you're listening, you know, challenge us with some really fun and creative lighting. That's that's awesome. It'll definitely take a creative person to challenge you guys, I can guess. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. So 
uh, types of photos. So there's a lot of different types of photos that can be taken. Could you just, you know, quickly run me through the types and, you know, mm-hmm. obviously you got angle shots and close-ups and far aways and whatever, but just walk me through some general, general photo shots people should get. So, um, in specific to Amazon, sure. You think? Yeah. Okay. So, so I believe that the, the anatomy of a perfect listing is a, a really awesome main listing image, right? And, and that image just needs to be really stand out amongst all your competitors, right? So in that, in that category search or that keyword search, that image has to be different. It needs to pop. It needs to look great. Or nobody's right? going to click on it to begin with. And see right. The other or photos. if it's, yeah. right. You want to stand out. You want to be different, you know? And, um, and then after that, there's these other, these secondary listing images, right? So, um, I think one pitfall that people fall into is just doing the front, back, and side of their product. That's not what those those images are for. Nobody cares about that. What people really care about is um, are are images that sell, features. You know, start talking about um, what makes your product special. So is it is it extra big? You know, is it um, does it come as a pack? Is it tough? Is it you know made of actual glass i don't know like and you can so you would take a, a product photo and then do like call outs on it maybe a little close-up detail shots and and instead of just showing what the product is in these secondary images really sell me on what makes this product special and i, I like that so really sell me show me the context of the item um interesting pitfall conversation with front back and side just too limiting we got to go above and beyond that show me the context of why i should buy your product versus other right. guy's product with front, 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 uh, side and back shots. So that makes sense. Right. Well, well, cool, Jeff. I appreciate you coming on, uh, the my Amazon guy podcast today. Um, photography is a obviously complex subject. Um, la- last question for you. Anything else you want to tell listeners before we end here today? Um, yeah, I guess if you're listening today, um, you know, these are hard times right now. It's, uh, it's crazy out there. Um, but hang in there and, um, you know, now is the time to, to create a brand and create a product. Um, this is what happened the last time. Uh, we'll get through this and, uh, yeah, just keep pushing forward and keep selling. Well, perfect. Thanks again, Jeff, for joining me. That was, uh, Jeff, the president of POW Photography, and we appreciate you coming on. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. All right. So that's the My Amazon Guy podcast. Uh, feel free to tell three other people about us in 